If you combine musical with Lady Google Gaga, I'm out. Um, this isn't good, man. This ain't good. Um, this is a bummer. Like, look, see, here's, here's, here's the thing right here, you know, see, um, Joker is one of the best films of the last five, five years, 100%. Is one of the best films of the, of the last five years. Walking Phoenix, for me, that is one of the best performances I've ever seen, ever. It's one of the best acting performances I've ever seen in what Walking Phoenix did. And I was cool with one film. I'll be real with you. I was cool with, with one film. But if there's a sequel, I'd be interested. Now, I won't be super excited and so forth. I'll be interested because I'm, I was not one of those guys. I was like, oh my gosh, man. After it, it's, it's finished, I need a second film. I'm like, oh. So I didn't need a second film. But if you're going to do one with the same team, Todd Phillips, Scott Silver... Um, okay, finish. let's roll. Let me just break things down. A musical. Okay. You see, if you say a musical, I'm like, peace with people. No, because see, I'm, I'm always happy when people want to be bold and different. And a musical, it's, it's daring. I'm not a fan of musicals. I hate musicals. But a musical set in the world of the Joker that is dark, macabre, and very, very edgy. I'm interested. But you need to be really good to really get it right. You know, because I can I, I can imagine a world in a Joker where it's a musical, but set in a very specific tone that's actually quite scary. <laughs> that is actually quite frightening and scary. So I was like, okay. That's interesting, but you need to really, really be honest to get it right because it can so very easily go, go, go wrong. Lady Gaga. Or should I say Lady Gugu Gaga? If you combine musical with Lady Gugu Gaga, I'm out. I'm sorry, I'm out. Lady Gaga is a wonderful singer. Great singer. You know, shout out to, to Akon for dis discovering her and, and so forth. But the but the thing though is, she's not a great actor. I'm, so, I'm sorry, like I'm gonna keep it a stack, man. It's like from what I've seen her in, she's decent. She's decent, but it's but see this thing also confuses me. It's like, do you know who Joaquin Phoenix is? That's the first thing. Forget about Have you seen The Master? Have you seen her? Have you seen Gladiator? Do you know what this man is and what this guy can do? What kind of level? This guy is one of the best actors in the world. And has been and has produced some of the best acts performances that I've ever seen. Ever. So you're dealing with a guy on a whole different chief or that level of acting. You can't pair him with Lady Gugu Gaga. Because but what scares me is we know Lady Gaga is a very good singer, a damn good singer. But it's so the fact that she's a singer and you're making it a musical. Gives me makes me very fearful of this. I'm like, oh, oh. because for instance, you want to do a Harley Quinn. If let's say they rolled up with Emma Stone, who I think she's a pretty she's a pretty good actress who can who can, who can really do something really big. So I'm like, okay, Emma Stone next to Joaquin Phoenix. Give Emma Stone the, the, the chance to really really do 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 something big. So I'm like, that's interesting because Emma Stone she's an actor. And she's a really good actor who I think could potentially do something quality. So I'm like, okay, if it's Emerson, I'm like, okay. Musical is a little bit, eh, okay. But if you're seeing Lady Gaga, who, that's what she, she, she does, is singing. Because, because see, I think a musical only works in this if you have two guys who aren't singers. So then it's actually, so, so it's, it's, so it's weird. So you're like, so because you're doing a musical and it's guys who don't really sing, then it makes it a lot scary. If you get what I'm saying. But if you're doing a musical with a professional singer. Then it really is a, a musical. Then it isn't dark or edgy. or when, It's really just a, a musical. So, it's just, so if she's just that singing. Crazy, like, oh my God, oh my God, Joker baby. Harlequin. No, yo, yo, yo. I'm like, oh man. Okay, no. Not good. I'm not, not good. Um, 
this is this is a soccer punch, man. This is this is a real soccer punch because again, again, I didn't need a sequel. I don't need a sequel for me. Like if I see the trailer, I see the footage, and it's trash. Oh, I just wouldn't watch because that Joker film I have it on Blu-ray. It's all good for me. Best birthday present ever. Um. But, but I just, I just, I just get to it. Like, you have Walking Phoenix. Do you know who Walking Phoenix is? Why would you get somebody who isn't even a full time actor? She does this part time. So, Ligaka, sometimes she sings, sometimes she acts. It's actually an insult to Walking Phoenix. It's an insult because if you're getting someone to out, act opposite him, get the best damn actor out there. Because Zazzy beats. She's, like if you if you watch um Atlanta, she's a damn good actress. She's a damn good like Zazie Beats is a damn good actor. So let's say they put her, even if they, they put Zazi Beats as like a Harley Quinn or something, I'd be interested. I'm like, okay, listen, because because I've seen her on Atlanta and she's a very good actor, but she is an actor full time. It's the same thing with Jared Leto. These guys who are oh, I see both actors. No, 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 no. What's your main thing? Jared Leto's main thing is. He's, he's singing and being a rock star. Lady Gugu Gaga's main thing is you're a singer. Not good, man. Not good. 